Marty and Danielle calling Zach, the drummer of Jimmy Eat World. Hello? Hi, is Zach there, please? This is him. My name is Marty Whitney. I'm with the Timeshare Company here in San Diego. <laughs> uh, Kelly gave us your number. She said you're interested in some real estate in oceanfront property. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Okay. It just depends on, depends on if I can get a good deal. Zach, what's going on, man? It's Marty and Danielle in 91X San Diego. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're super stoked that you guys are coming back. In a lot of ways, like San Diego is sort of a home away from home for us. Um, so it's always a blast for us to come to San Diego, and especially that venue is so, so much fun, and, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Well, you've got connections to Major League Baseball. Yeah, you're playing Petco Park here, but your father, he was a coach. Yeah, he actually played a little bit in the major leagues, and then he also coached in the major leagues. Got to believe your dad has introduced you to your favorite player of all time at some moment, right? Having that access? Like awesome players, you know, like Rod Carew when I was like a little kid. My dad used to work for the Angels, so I got to meet him. Barry Larkin, he played for my dad with the Vermont Reds, and so a lot of a lot of great players. I know you are from Arizona. Does that mean you're a Diamonds back fan? I am, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Zach, you're coming yeah. into uh, enemy territory. Coming to know, Park against you know, my Padres. It's like you guys are so far back in the standings <laughs> that I don't think there should really be any kind of beef Hold because on. it's like, Shots what are we up. talking about, you know? As a Padre fan who was on top and has fallen to the bottom, I'm telling you right now, get a little humble, Zach, because oh, it's oh, coming for Arizona. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see how that goes for you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the best the best predictor of the future is what happens in the past. So I think uh, <laughs> if that's the case, then you guys are in trouble. <laughs> My family spent a little time in San Diego last summer, and we went to a Diamondbacks game there, and it was so cool. Like the stadium is awesome. It's really easy to see like how the fans in San Diego have really kind of you know supported that team. It's such a great fan experience, and the weather is awesome, obviously, and so. I definitely am a little jealous of the, uh, you know, the nice downtown park there with the great weather all the time. That would be nice to have. I lived in Phoenix where Zach and the guys in Jimmy World are from in the late 90s. And I worked at a radio station called The Edge. And my first dealings with the band, but how far we've come Mm -hmm. 30 years later and you guys are still out touring, making music and exciting your fans. I got to believe that there's been a really bougie moment that you've had. Is there one moment that stands out as like, oh, my God, I can't believe we're being treated like this? We came out with two major label albums on Capitol, and both of those albums did not do well. And we got dropped after our second major label album. And then we made Bleed American on our own without a label. And then all of a sudden, we were in a bidding war with a bunch of major labels to to sign us, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was kind of wild. So we went from this, like, you know, sort of, major label castaway to all of a sudden we had like five labels bidding to to sign us and we ended up going to new york to meet with some labels we went out with this label that we ended up not going with but i think our dinner ended up being like really insanely ridiculously expensive Mm -hmm. to the point where i don't feel comfortable even saying like the the (laughs) The bill but it was Mm -hmm. it was insanely expensive like you could maybe buy a like a cheap used car for the amount of this money that that this dinner was (laughs) And and the reason why it happened was one of our managers who got to the restaurant was like, hey, I want to try this bottle of wine and it's really expensive. I just want to try it. And then after that, we can go to like a cheaper wine. And the label insisted on just continually ordering bottles of that same wine. And I think that's what drove it up really high. And so <laughs> that was kind of the most opulent, exorbitant experience of the band's existence. And we felt very kind of like embarrassed. And we also felt bad that we ended up going with a different label. So. <laughs> and then the twist at the end. Zach, he plays drums for Jimmy Eat World. 30 years of making music. Longtime friends of the radio station. Looking forward to seeing you, Manchester Orchestra, Gallagher Square at Petco Park. It's this Friday. July 21st with 91X. Zach, thanks so much. Yeah, thanks for having me. Looking forward to being there. Yeah, bro. Thank you, Zach. And let's go Padres. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Good it's luck. all love. Good luck with that. <laughs>